We have Matt Hancock, uh, Head of Burton Albion Community Trust here. Um, first of all, congratulations, Matt, on your new role. Uh, Thank you. Following the departure of Andy Taylor to um, Aston Villa. Uh, tell us a little bit, Matt, about the change of your role going from community manager to the head of community. Yeah, well, I think you just mentioned I've been, I've been at Burton Albion now for five and a half years and I've spent those five and a half years working really closely with Andy, with Andy Taylor. Um, so the, the step up, first of all, is really testament to the, all the work that he's put in, in both myself and, and the trust. And I feel like I'm in a really strong position to take the trust forward. Um, the head of community role. So Andy's um, been doing that for the last, well, he's been in that role for, well, was in the role for seven years. Um, and, and the work that he's done um, previously has really set the trust up um, to be in a position that I'm you know, quite excited about. Um, and other things that we can do moving forward. So I, I would just like to place on record my, my thanks to Andy, I think, for, first of all. In terms of the, the change to my role, so I've already alluded to, I've worked closely with Andy for, for the last five and a half years. And in terms of the business, I'm um, really quite comfortable and confident in um, what we deliver, um, what, we, what we set out to do, and, and the work that goes alongside it. I guess the, the biggest change for me will, will now be ultimate accountability. So yes, we've got a board of trustees, but the decisions will start to you know, fall on my head um, and I'll make or break some of the, the things that we'll, the, that we'll be doing as a trust. Um, and that's, the, that's, I'd say, the biggest change to my role. And then furthering that, it's then the, the relationship with the football club. Andy, again, worked really well with Fleur, with the chairman, with the academy, with various arms of the football club. And I'm, you know, I'm really wanting to make sure that I'm part and parcel of that um, and we keep that relationship with the club moving forward into into the next few years. So going forward, looking at the future of the Trust, obviously, with the new 3G over there and the new building, what are you looking forward to? Well, it's, it's actually a, a, a good month. Uh, the, the 1st of June is the start of the delivery of our uh, strategy, our new three-year strategy inspiring our communities. And we spent a lot of the last 12 months putting that, putting that in place and putting that together. And I'm really excited about delivering that and um, we've done a lot of work with the staff we've got some fantastic staff a great workforce already in place and they've been part and parcel of every decision that we've made and they will continue to be part and parcel of every decision that we make here at the trust i'm a big believer as you're only as good as your worst member of staff and um, so the, the development of a staff and the things that we're doing with them will ultimately um, give us success and i'm hoping that that um, will be you know a real a real part of us moving forward the facility and um, so the facility should be operational um, in terms of the, the ground, floor, ground floor and open to the community over the next couple of months. And then we're hoping to obviously further develop that in terms of the first floor, ready for sort of September, October time this coming year. And that's just given us an extra dimension to, to, the, you know, to the work that we can do. So being having a facility on site here at a football club, it's quite unique. And we've already seen, so we, it's half term um, currently, and we've already seen to the, the last few days, we've got a couple of hundred kids all playing football, playing activities, doing things on the, on the facility and what an inspirational facility we have got to do that.